Hi guys, Julie Brake here. I'm going to show you today um, the technique that everybody's been asking about and we're going to work on the tree. Um, today I'm using Ranger inks and I'm using mushroom, bottle, citrus, Laguna, and Limeade. This is a pretty quick video. Um, I use shot glasses for my alcohol. Um, they're heavy, they're old, so they don't spill easily, but I really like them. And I'm using Graphics Craft Plastic that I love, and I cut it to size. And then um, before I always start, I wipe it down with alcohol and let it dry. I don't know if it, I think it helps your inks move a little bit, but that's my process. So I'm going to start with citrus and I'm just going to sprinkle some colors just on the top because we're doing a tree. And I, whoops, move that. And I'm going to come back with limeade doesn't really matter the order of your colors you can use different colors this is also a floral method that I do but I use pinks and oranges and um really any color you want purple um this is bottle sprinkle a little bit of that on there and did I? Laguna, a little bit of Laguna. And mushroom. I'm pouring right from the bottle. Okay, now here's the fun part. You're just, it's easy, but you just, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, don't give up. I I kind of discovered this technique, but it was work getting my, you know, getting it down. So, um, but it's fun and it's something different. All you do is take your medium brush, nothing fancy, dip it in your alcohol, and you're going to bring it over to your paper and you're just going to move it to the center. Since this is a tree, you want to, you want to be able to come to like, the trunk but right now we're just using working on the top and it's it's okay to have some white spots which I kind of love um to me the white makes the the colors stand out a little bit more and we're going to be using a marker not this video but m maybe the next video a marker to come back and do your lines so all I'm doing is taking this alcohol and just pulling down lightly. I'm not really pressing hard. I'm just putting ink on this paper. And each time is so different. Um, you don't really know how it's going to end up, but it's sometimes it's a pretty good surprise. Okay, we're still coming to the center of the page. If you have some spots you missed, you can come back over them. But all the inks are, they're going to be moving. And you, you want to make sure your surface is totally flat. Because if you're not level, your inks are going to run. And it'll kind of make a mess. Um, I've done it, so I know. Um, <coughs> if there's any spots that don't have alcohol, you could just take your brush and pull it. And just see what happens. And you're going to get these little cells, these little circles that show up. I think it's a mix mixture of the paints and um, those you're going to, 
be circling with your pen or whatever, but I like kind of how they turn out and, um, I don't know if you could see this a little better, but there's little circles forming. It kind of adds a little bit to the painting. Sometimes it's, if it's starting to move, if you're not totally level, you can go back and just wipe it with a paper towel. And sometimes I use a dryer. Once, once your circles have formed, once things are going on and you kind of like the way it's moving, you can go back and I, I put my dryer up high because I don't want it to move. I don't want the inks to spread out. I want them to stay kind of where they're at. Once they've sat there a while, they're pretty much going to, they're doing what they're going to do. Okay, and this could be, like, this could be a bouquet of flowers um, that you put in a vase. You could put stems on this and make it a bouquet of flowers. Um, you can do a lot of different things with this. You could just pull it straight down and have it be an abstract. Um, I love flowers. I love trees. So I thought, why not give it a try? So, okay, so this is dry. All I do is come back with the mushroom. You can use any color you want for your trunk. Um, you can mix colors. You can do the same type of thing. But um, I'm going to, all I do is I put mushroom, I'm going to put mushroom straight down from a bottle. And this is your tree trunk. Nothing fancy. Sometimes the less you work on things, the better they look. I could give it um, branches, but we're going to come back and we're going to work on doodling on this. And that's pretty much how I make my trunk. Nothing, nothing... Perfect, nothing planned. I just, I'm just going for it. I'm not an expert. You could put branches coming off of this on the bottom. Just like pull, pull some if you want. You don't have to. I think this is a little too thick for a tree trunk. I kind of want it to be a little thinner. If you want it thinner, just wipe off the alcohol. Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing hard. Just enjoy yourself. I'm just learning about neuro art, and I've been doing this type of art for a while. Had no clue about it. So, and I always found it super relaxing and hard to stop. And I'm like, why do I like this so much? So, it explains a lot to me. Next video, we'll come back and try to do um, the neuro art and see what happens. But it really adds a lot to it. Oh, you can also add... Um, green on the bottom you can add um you know something to look like grasses you can pull them up you can go straight across it doesn't it doesn't really matter but if you want to give it a little bit of a background you can so we're just pulling this in and you can pull up to make grasses, you can do whatever you want. So it's up to you. Enjoy.